We are 50 miles off the coast of Cuba and off the southern shore and we are out fishing. How we got here, we flew through Miami into Havana. We got to hang out in Havana, spend some cool time driving around, looking at the city and uh, toured the city, spent some time in some cool cars, went to an incredible place called Fabrica de Arte Cubano, which is the fine art museum. And then we got on a bus, took a seven hour bus ride, got on a boat, took a I don't even know, six hour boat ride, spent the night, and then now we're out fishing and, and we just saw some bonefish. We're moving in position to go after those and we're super stoked. We've been uh, looking for some tarpon today. Carl already hooked one like right away and, and jumped it. So that was super cool. So we'll see how the day goes. How many fish, sir? <laughs> There's so many fish, Carl. Really, really. Be careful. Whoa. Breaking. Yeah. Carl and I each hooked a bonefish, had them on for a bit and lost them on the mangroves. And usually I don't think either of us are that bummed about losing fish. We just love to have some fun out here, but we are having a little competition with the rest of our group today. And so the deal is everyone throws in a fly uh, from their bonefish box. And whoever catches the largest bonefish today from fork to nose, gets all of the flies so you know not not a huge wager but you know we're having a little bit of fun with it
Get from you. More left, more left. Eh. Thank you, Nelson. We have to measure on the rod. We measure. Oh, too late. We're supposed to measure. Oh, let go, let go. It's okay. No problem. No worries. Very good still. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one looked bigger than him. He was scared. Saw his reflection. Says, "Ooh, ugly. he doesn't like that fly." Yeah, flies get. <laughs> This is Zapata. We had this one in Zapata. Oh, yeah. That's a guide made one. Did uh, Rydell give you that one? I think so. Uh -huh. I think it was Rydell who gave me this. Yeah. We just finished eating lunch and we just had a blast walking the beach, fishing for some bones in the surf. And there was a bunch of fish, some really nice fish. But now we're going to shift gears lunchtime and then we're going to go look for some permit. Sometimes there are certain spots where you want to have two rods rigged and ready to go. And so we were looking for permit and uh, we had the tarpon rod ready and um, we saw a big school of tarpon, a bunch of 30 pound fish, really nice fish. So Carl jumped up real quick with the 10 weight. And um, so we just threw the nine weight down in the boat and we've been chasing around this school. They're a little bit spooky, but, um, but they're like bigger than a lot of the juveniles that you normally see. So sometimes having a second rod, just sitting ready ready to be able to make that cast uh, is the way to do it. We just had lunch, but we're going to start this one right where we started this morning. And so we're returning to a spot. We found some tarpon in an impossible place to cast, um, but it, it's challenging. So we're excited about that. We jumped some tarpon earlier and then we, um, what did we do? We landed on the tarpon and we the... did land a tarpon and then we chased some bonefish and then we chased some big tarpon. As well as a big tarpon. Yeah. That's going to get good. That's gonna get real good. <laughs> Nice blink. No, he's fighting.
Yes, sir. Look at that! Congratulations! Little turpin. Sweet. Okay, this is the spot that we have nicknamed Turpin Hell Arena because it's like this big bowl it, it, like there's no way you're gonna land a fish out of there but they're in there and um so so we'll see if we can stick one okay here's some fish there uh, or far very far can i see him hello Did. yes yes good job oh, oh i lost him yeah. that was a nice one yeah but it broke off oh Oh man, nice fish. Yeah. Good opportunity there. That's the easiest spot yet. Turn. Oh, he's going into Tarpon Hell Arena. Yeah, he knows. Where he, he knows. Is. He knows. Eleven, no, eleven. Eleven. Yeah. One with the more right. You see? Out there. Yeah. Yeah. The same place in the morning. There he is. I see him out there yeah, going the other he's way. Just hanging one, out. One point in this he's way. He's coming forward. I see one, two, three. Four. Five. He's coming. He's coming more. You see him eleven? I see them all. Three, four, five. Oh, there's more further. Oh, more out there. Yeah, way there out there. Okay, casting. Casting to the close ones? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm trying to keep out of the weeds here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's looking at me. Yeah, no, he's staring at me. He didn't like Look at that. Him. Let's eat him. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed, are you? Our typical fishing day goes from seven in the morning until four o'clock in the afternoon. We just got back at four. I was the first boat back, but several of the other boats rolled in right behind us. There's another boat coming in right now. And so I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of the boat that we're on. This boat is called Avalon Fleet 2. And this is the same boat that I was on on my first Cuba trip in 2016. It's a really cool boat. Uh, it's, it's big. It's really big. Um, and there, so I am on the top deck and uh, I'll give you a little walking tour. And one of the best features of the top deck is the hot tub. the second deck not the top deck and uh, there's two really cool hangout areas here hang out here in the evening or uh, after fishing have cocktails and pizza and, and uh, it's great but let's go inside and I'll show you the dining hall and, uh, and then we'll go down to the, to the next level yeah, really. <laughs> but not in the hall. Here's the hall to the rooms. Cool little hangout area here. And then there's more. It goes downstairs. There's still two rooms down there. The front of the boat, the bridge, quarters for the crew and for the guides, uh, all that kind of stuff as well. So there it is. Mm -hmm. 